Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya, and I'm addicted to jewelry. Hi everyone. Um, I got a whole bunch of new subscribers. Thank you all for coming over and subscribing. I, uh, yeah, I'm a full-time reseller right here on YouTube. Um, I've been doing on a regular three auctions a week, and it's taken me away from doing my morning videos, which I like to do so much. Um, my uh, show and tell, uh, what's in the box, coffee and chit chat. I got my coffee. It's early morning. It's, uh, it is, what is it? It's cold. It's a foggy day. Yeah, there's like a blanket over California, or at least right here in the Central Valley. And yes, I'm wearing my little reindeer pajamas. Lighten up, y'all. Lighten up. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to share with you, uh, these were the things that I got from the box the other day from Pat. And then I did get a package in the mail yesterday. Uh, and I didn't know what it was. Um, this came from Adrian. These are so nice. I love the color. It's... Uh, it's like a yellow, but it has a hint of green. Uh, but what I was truly after was this. I just thought this was amazing. And she had this pinned on here and she sold it together as a set. And I just thought it was quite lovely. And But I, I really just, I just adore this. I think this is fabulous. Oh boy, hang on. Okay, I think I was somewhere like this. <laughs> dogs are barking. Um, yeah, I think this is really, really beautiful. Thank you, Adrian. Um, a la mode by Adrian. Amazing. Thank you. I uh, love that. And, uh, yeah. And then I wanted to share with you a box like show and tell what's in mama T's box. Shoot. So Pat came over the other day as, uh, you all know, if you were there, and at my live, Pat was here for a little bit because we had just gone through a box of jewelry. Uh, this was in there. I just thought it was sweet. Um, I love the little cloisonne beads. And um, I said, yes, I'll keep that. These were super sweet. Um, look at the detail in the back. Clip-on earrings. Just really, really cute. Oh, that probably needs to come out. It's seen its better day. <laughs> it's old and it's so sweet. I just thought these were beautiful. And it's just like a really thin plastic, super lightweight, but look how pretty they are. They're just adorable. Uh, this was in the box and I just thought it was really, really nice. This looks like bone and I don't believe this is silver or anything, but it sure is pretty. And it was all there. Super cute. Um, this was in there and this is so pretty. This is like acrylic beads, uh, faceted. I mean, it could be a lucite actually. I don't know, but it is dark purple, dark purple, and you're not going to see the light coming through because it's so dark. Well, maybe you can a little bit there. You're getting a little hints. Um, it's really, really long. There's no, um, there's no end on it or beginning. Well, I mean, I guess it starts here because they're graduated. Um, and it's just strung on string, but it's really, really beautiful. I thought it was really pretty. And I said, yeah, I'm gonna keep that too. There was a whole bunch of these. Well, three, four, and um, just beautiful. I, I make a whole bunch of window charms too, or, um, you know, sun catchers. Um, and I always like to have a crystal or something heavy on the end to keep it. Yeah, I used to sell those out at the art hop all the time too. Um, and I have a whole collection of crystals. So I took that. This is a simple bracelet that you're just gonna wrap and wrap and then 
or maybe it's a necklace. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's a, a bracelet and you hook it through there. Um, but the, it is leather and there's just two nice pearls on there. You do whatever with that. Another stringy dingy with pearls. It just needs to be unstringy. <laughs> unstringy. There was some loose this and that. Uh, this beautiful cloisonne bracelet. Please stop. Stop, Bear. Okay. Now that it's quiet again. Yeah, and I don't know what was happening here, but um, this is also bone. Um, it just looks like it's older or it's been maybe dyed in tea or something. Or the other, this is like more bleached out. Aged in some way, but definitely um, looks like bone to me. Carnelian and um, whatever this might be. It could be glass beads, actually, the way they look, because they're all very, very similar in shape. Yep, but I liked it for the beads. This was in there. This is absolutely beautiful. I am going to test this, because this really does look like silver to me. Um, and this does not fluoresce. It could be an African um, amber or possibly Bakelite, I'm not sure. Um, I've tried to order the semi-chrome um, and it just tells me it can't be delivered to my house and I forgot to order it again the other day when I ordered my gem tester that I'm still waiting for and I'm glad I didn't sell this ring because um, I think those are little pave diamonds in there. They sure do look like it. And thank you everyone that showed up the other night um, for the auction slash sale marathon. It was a lot. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. <laughs> a sandwich thing. That was, that was a lot of, uh, yeah, it took a lot out of me. I was tired. So yeah, I think I'm going to slow it down a little bit and maybe just do two auctions a week. Um, the girl sent out the invoices yesterday, despite the fact that they were both uh, running a fever and not feeling well. And I felt super bad. I told them, don't worry about it, I can do it. And they said, no, no, we wanna do it. Um, so I was like, okay, I felt super bad. I made them some chicken noodle soup and um, I kept my distance from them. Tasha did test negative um, for COVID. Um, and she does have white spots on her throat. And I believe it's just strep throat. And she's had it quite a bit when she was younger. I used to get it quite a bit when I was younger. It, sometimes two times a year. Um, I think it's something to do with this valley air, whatever it is. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, they're feeling better this morning, thank goodness. Um, neither one of them have to go to work for 10 days uh, because of it. And Tasha has to go to Kaiser on Tuesday and get tested again at the hospital so um and marissa you know they're they're both they both work for different companies so i'm not sure what's happening with marissa so far um but i'm feeling very confident that they're both fine and it, there's a lot of allergy kind of things going on and look at that crown don't look at my nails i painted them again but oh, i can see i don't know i got I didn't clean them up around the edges or anything yet. Very dimensional 3D crown. Pretty cool. I don't know what that went on. Um, it's off of something, clearly. A ring, perhaps? <laughs> no. Um, it's really neat, though. And what's in the box? I just grabbed a tote. I grabbed a tote. <sighs> I don't know what's in here. This is one of those things that have just been sitting to the wayside up in a, on a shelf in a tote. Oh, well, that's absolutely stunning. It looks like every stone is there. Um, wow. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Sadly, whatever it is, um, 
it's already been crafted with once because there's nothing on the back. It's so guess what? It's a crafter item. I love it. Or I could do something with it. I remember this. This is awesome. This is really cool. Oh, it's got an icky bead there that needs to be cleaned, but um, that's the pendant, and this is the necklace. Oh, okay. It needs uh, it needs an attachment there, but that's pretty awesome. It needs to be cleaned. Oh, well, looky there. Bright and watch. I didn't know. Cat furs. This was up on a shelf and there was a cat fur in there. That's a nice watch. Leather. It needs to be cleaned up, it looks like, but I'm sure it just needs a new battery. And uh, wow, that's pretty cool. Huh. I haven't seen this box in uh, quite some time, so I have no idea what's in here. This is probably one of those things that was on my desk and... I swished it all to the side and threw it all in a tote and then put it on a shelf somewhere. Because this looks more than just like a crafter's pile. So probably something like that. Huh, I was thinking maybe that's another pane Dora. But it does not appear to be just a costume jewelry um, Pandora style bracelet. I'll put it right back up in there. And I don't think I'm gonna open up. Oh my goodness. That's where these went. Well, guess what? Anyone with a T, anyone with a U name, um, an R name, an E name, you just you got it you got a little they're just little tie pins but um you got a whole bag of them so those are going to be included in your packages um yeah nice i was wondering what happened to that oh that's cute a little crocheted cross and oh another one oh boy Got a little kitty hair on it again. It's sweet. That's a cool bell. I guess it's going to be a combination of everything. Nothing hanging in there. Oh boy, what's this? It's one of these numbers. <laughs> um, hmm. Looks like costume jewelry. I don't know. That key looks pretty cool. I like the key. Um, hmm, that one might be silver, actually. I find quite a bit of these that are silver. I don't know. I'll have to check it out a little further. Uh, yeah, that's what that is. A very nice little carnelian. Um, oh. Somebody calls these Shambhala stuff. Oh, it's there. Wait a minute. What happened? That's odd. Oh, okay. I see. It just needs um, these two. I can fix that. I can fix that. So it doesn't come apart. Oh my gosh. That looks like silver. Totally is silver. What is that? Well, you know, I the one nice thing about my madness was I, I just figured um, everything gets swept into the totes. So that way, next time I do go through it, I'm going to find treasures in there. And this is definitely, oh gosh, what's wrong? Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. Okay. What does it say? Oh, maybe it's not silver. It sure does look like it's silver. Oh, this says Origami L. Interesting. I could have sworn that was sterling silver. But it doesn't 
doesn't fit. I'm going to have to check that. I don't know that they actually make silver. Oh, that's a pretty earring. Looks like alpaca or something. Um, a little ohm symbol with little wood beads and copper beads and what appear to be, um, well, let's see. They actually look like rolled glass or tumbled glass beads. I mean, it could be stone. I'll have my gem tester in a day or two. And I'll be able to tell you for certain. That's pretty. Nicely done with all the chipped. Uh, is it strung on there? No, it looks like it's maybe just glued on there. But the bracelet itself is in very nice shape. Oh, and there's another one. That's a nice cuff. It's a really nice cuff. Just a stretch. Hard Rock Cafe. Um, and I'm going to put that to the side because I collect those. A little bunny. A bunny. Joe Elio, Elliot. Whoever that is. I don't know. Uh, that looks like a button. A little... Button, button. I got some more cloisonne in here. And that looks like one of Mama T's hairs. <laughs> Another little cloisonne. Oh, gosh. More Mama T hair? Or is that the same one? I think that was the same one. This looks like a Monet or something. Oh, that's Crown Trafari. Nice. That's a crown trafari necklace. It's all there. In excellent shape. Cool little find. A whole bunch of Alex and Ani. Um, I've got a I've got to hoard more of these, so I'm just gonna put these with them. What's that? A little charm bracelet with an F on it. An F for, I don't know what. Um, these are just beads. I don't think it was ever anything. I think he just bought them that way. Oh, look, a little elephant. An elephant earring. He's cute. Oh, boy. Um, someone was doing some wire wrapping. And... They just kind of got all crazy, and I said, yeah, I'll keep the wire, because I started playing with some wire wrapping, and this is just a whole bunch of hoopla right here, what's happening. Um, well, that's bone, and oh, that's cool. Okay, it's got a couple of fish on there, and bone, and then it's got all these little bee bobbles on it, all oh, little Eskimo-looking guy, and... Um, maybe an acorn looking leafy thing and yeah on some string with some more danglies I like it I guess well enough to keep it well enough to sweep it off in here and I have no clue what's in here oh wow what's that well it has earrings oh that's cool Oh, that's very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, what do we have? Oh, what, what is happening here? Is that just the way it is? That's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Okay, whatever it is. It's cool, though. Um, I don't know where my form is. And even if I pulled it out, I don't think I'm going to use it anymore because Princess is obsessed with my desk. And I can't seem to rid the cat hair of the on the black velvet. So 
I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby today or one of those places and see if I can't find a new form that won't uh, attract cat hair. Because now, little Lulu, my little boy, oh, that must have been off of one of my old pair of glasses that the dog got a hold of and chewed up. Don't know where I saved that. Um, yeah, whatever I was saying about those pesky little animals and their little furs. Ugh. Oh, yeah, Lulu. So, yeah, Lulu sees Princess up on my desk. So, not Lulu, but um, Iggy. Igloo. Um, Iggy has been jumping on my desk too now because he sees Mama Kitty doing it. And so he thinks he's this is his hangout spot too. And that's just the sweetest little wood leather kitty cat. I have a mouse like that too. Oh my gosh, they go together. Oh, it's missing a red eye, but I think I can, I think I can handle that repair. Actually, yes, it's going into the repair pile. Um, I guess I kept that because it was Homer Simpson and, um, yeah, it probably just needs a battery and it's a cool little watch. It looks like it talks. It says something cause it's got like this whole speaker system. I don't know. Um, yeah, I kept it for that reason. <laughs> Oh, well, this doesn't belong in here, but these are always handy when hanging uh, curtains. So, um, yeah, that probably goes over there with my stuff for that kind of thing. Um, these are just big glass beads. Uh, it just looks like it maybe has something on there. Um, but some nice, nice glass beads. It's got a great stretch to it. These beads right here are beautiful. Uh, this definitely needs to be restrung, but I don't know if you're seeing what's happening in there, but they're like glowing and they're so cool. And we all know why I kept that. And we probably all know why I kept this too. Look at that. That is an amazing art glass handmade beautiful bead. I love it. And it's just on this cool like torque style necklace that just you could probably just do about anything with that but that bead is awesome. So pretty. So pretty. Um, well, I got a few of these. I guess I got them because I would craft the heck with these, craft the heck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at how pretty they are. They're like AB stones all the way around. They're just, oh, actually they are strands of beads. I thought they were bracelets. Oh, well, I don't know where I got these, but yeah, I thought I must have them. And now I know why. So these need to come out of here. Those need to go into my crafting area one of those things that I just need to go through and um, put things where they belong. If you know what I mean. But I feel I have no time to do that sort of thing right now and I've got plenty others to deal with. That's an awesome button. Egyptian Revival. Oh, that's plastic just tapped it on my tooth. Yes, I did. Ew, gross. Gross. I didn't lick it or bite it. I just tapped it very lightly. Alrighty. Not sure what this is, but whatever it is, it's so well made be like a it's like super heavy oh it's just got a little shepherd's hook and what's happening on this end oh and another one oh oh so you could 
attach them together or attach them over here, but it's really, really heavy. I like the yellow. Um, there's not a lot of yellow jewelry, so I hear everyone say. Um, yeah, it's really nicely done. These are... Yeah, that's all glass. And these are metal discs. Um, so that might be stone, like a halite, like a white halite. And... Oh, that's, that's acrylic or whatever, yeah. But that's glass or stone. So nicely done. Look at the back. No name. Really nice. I mean, that's, that's a well-made piece of jewelry. It feels, you know, you, you just, you can feel jewelry and know that it's a quality-made thing. Ooh. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, does that go on the end? It sure does. Well, these are leather. Um, they probably just need to be brushed out and smoothed out. This is nicely done too. This is Chica's, oh, no wonder. Um, nice detail, look at that. Chica's. Um, yeah, it's got this little coin thing, or maybe it's supposed to go this way. What's dangling there? Oh, there's like a pearl and a nice little, oh, another like tortoiseshell stone. And then this little thing there. I don't know about that one. That, that, tass that tassel does not look so sassy right now. Um, I'm sure it could be maybe with some fabric softener sprayed on it and just let it hang and it would probably settle down. Uh, yeah, no, I like the dangles maybe. Maybe I was thinking I could craft with the dangles, but not so much with this. Uh, yeah, I've some, sometimes unwound all this stuff and taken that right off of there. Um, taking that little leather stuff right on off of there. Oh my goodness. Maybe this was like on the ground or something for a minute on the floor and the cat's little furs got in there, but just a stretch, but it's got some great little pieces and parts. More of these. Texas Strong. Yeah. I think Thelma needs one of these. And who else is in Texas? Oh, Texas Gal Treasures. Something like that. I don't know. Oh. Jasper Turquoise. That's what it says. Jasper Turk. Turk. <laughs> Jasper and Turk. There's only one. Uh, 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 uh. I've got no excuses for that. I don't know, this is just sealed in the thing. Uh, oh, that's cute. Uh, that's a cute little heart. Uh, heart. There's a heart right here on the end. Do you see it? I'm not losing my mind. It's a key. You've got the key to my heart. It's a cute one. I need more coffee, more coffee. Oh my gosh, there's lots of furs in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I just can't explain it. Ooh, that's a cool bead. She's pretty awesome. Oh, and she's two-sided. Very nice, two-faced. She's got two faces. And this looks like a stone of some sort. Not sure. It's cute. Those almost look like silver findings. I don't know. But I still see a cat fur on there. My goodness. I don't even want to get down into the bottom of this. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. He's a little froggy. He's a little froggy. I know where this is going. Yes, ma'am. Miss Millie. Look at. That's so cute. 
That's going to Millie. I got, you know, I've got a little piles here and there now going on. What's happening? Okay. Is this the same pair? I Did I just drop these down and just pick them back up again? I'm losing my mind. There's two of these, so cool. I'll put them away. Put them away, put them away, put them away now. These are even dusty. My goodness. Um, but they've got awesome Mille Fiore button style beads in there and the little half rondelles. Uh, it's on a stretch. A couple of those rondelles over here. This one was missing a couple stones. So I'm sure I kept that just for the beads because those are pretty awesome. Uh, there's a whole bunch of, I, you know, look, that's not even cat fur. I don't even know what that is, but it's a fuzzball. Oh, it's the whole, the Who Village. Who? Hello. Who? Um, there's a whole collection of these down at the bottom here, which is cool because, um, yeah, I collect these things. These have a lot of collectability and, um, yeah, I think I'll save those for my retirement because I've literally have thousands of them thousands and thousands and yeah maybe not all of them are collectible but i'll hold on to those till the very end till i can't anymore um yeah i gotta put oh my gosh there's two of them what i was like wait a minute i look down and i've got two two froggies Oh, how cute. And a little rabbit. That's a cute little rabbit. And this little bead is so cute, too. I think it's a, uh, um, what do you call those things? Legos? I think it's a Lego head. But it'd be cute to craft with. There's just a ton of these. And then I always save all of these little uh, religious things. I, I save them all. I've got hundreds of little charms so um yeah one of these days i'm going to make a whole bunch of charm bracelets with just religious um stuff on there he was cute it was on one of the stretch things so and i guess i liked tassels were a thing i don't know how long this has been sitting in there but uh, yeah not so much a thing anymore <laughs> I, yeah, I have no idea what's happening here either, but, I, or what that is. It's a purse handle. No, it's a necklace. I don't know. It's in there. This is a little coach charm keychain. Um, the ever so lovely and so fun to play with, uh, whatever these are, whatever you want to call these, you're, it's a fidget toy. It's a fidget toy necklace, bracelet, whatever you want it to be thing. Those are always fun. Oh, look at, look at, hi, Canadia. Canadia? Canadia. <laughs> hi, all my lovely peeps in Canada. My little Canadian friends, hello. Hello, Jane and Lori and Nance. It's so lovely to have you back, Nance. I am, um, I'm just thrilled that you've, um, you're a survivor and we love you so much. And we're so blessed that you're still a part of this lovely community. These are so cute. You're blessed, my friend. You're blessed. And what else do we have in here? Oh my gosh, these are super cute. Super cute for uh, springtime. I must. Oh, I think I have a necklace that goes with that. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. Oh, are you kidding me right now? There's one missing. What a darn shame. Those are cute. Oh, there's two. Who? And they're not in the bag. Why did they make it in the bag? I don't know. Oh, I could do something with that one. It's got that ombre. Really cute. How oh, sad. Oh, here's a little angel. A little angel that has... Oh, 
it's a magnet and it's a little strong magnet because it's holding that um, keychain there. And there's a new deputy sheriff in town and her name is Reggie Hamlin. Got a belt buckle in there because he's cool. I have no idea what's in here. Oh my goodness, just madness. Oh, well, isn't that a cute little hair barrette? Or, yeah, one of those. Wing. I love doing that. I think that's fun. Wing. <laughs> it's like a little game. Boom. Except it, it hurt when it, it's snapping me. Um, this looks like some more crafters, thingy-majiggies. Um, oh, actually, this is all here. Um, it's got a lot of wear to the back. Copper showing through and whatnot. Oh, this is signed. Who is it? Who is that? Uh, this is Bobble Bar. By Bobble Bar. But, uh, yeah, it's not in that great of shape. So, I think um, this is probably best to be crafted with, perhaps. I don't know. It just seems like there's a lot of copper coming through. It had like a um, antiqued, real dark antiqued bronze finish on it. And you can see here all the coppers coming through. So I probably just kept that to craft with. Along with this, because I love these flowers. They are so fun to craft with. I don't know that anyone is so much into wearing these anymore. Oh, this one's J. Crew. Wow. Um, yeah, that one's J. Crew, And it's in great shape. I don't know. And it's yellow, so maybe I'll save that. I don't know. Oh, this was me. Uh, this, oh, there it is. This was a piece of labradorite that I um, cut and polished. Oh, where's the flash? There we go. Can you get it? There. There. There it is. Um, I had cut around an oval and a square the first time I ever, uh, first time that I had ever cut stones. And then I started making a bracelet out of it. I was wire wrapping and I never finished it clearly. Um, and I, I sent the other, the oval labradorite, I sent to Liz. This one didn't have a very high polish on it. Clearly I should have polished it better, but again, it was my first time. Um, but yeah, Liz at Makeup Zombie has the the oval that I cut and polished. And yeah, uh, this was my first attempt at wire wrapping. Um, well, not first attempt because I have a few pieces. But I think this was my actual first attempt. I went to the wire wrapping class and we did this in class at the Gem and Mineral Society. Yeah, I just didn't finish it. Um, that's an amazing um, pendant on a not so amazing necklace because these are plastic little crystals. So I'd probably take that off of there. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's wearable, it's nice. And I guess if I hadn't told you, you might've thought those were crystals. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, who knows. Oh, that's very pretty and if I can do this properly. Looks like it's all there. Very sweet colors. Light green peridot, like a light pink and mm, I guess kind of yellow dangles. Oh, who is this? This has got a big T. So this is Talbot's. Oh, that's cool. This is pretty nice. Wood and brass inlaid chevron pattern. That's nice. I like it a lot. I like that. I've got all sorts bagged up in here. I have no idea what's happening. We got little butterfly enamel brooch. Um, this little brooch here, but... Um, I don't know why it's in a bag. It Maybe I bought a whole lot and it was in there, but it's missing a stone, sadly. 
This is awfully pretty. How long have I been on here? 39 minutes? Yeah, probably going to cut it short in a moment. Because I, I know people don't want to just sit here and... Oh, that's neat. That's really pretty. Wow, that's gorgeous. Who is that? It's whoever has this little thing here. Because I've seen this around, and I'm sure that's somebody, you know, that's probably very indicative of one designer. I'm not sure. That's like a, a resin, um, and it's like got confetti in there, different, um, it's like a lucite confetti, but it's, I don't know if it's lucite. I mean, it's, what is it? Thermoset? But it's almost got like a nice, like, opaly um, confetti in there. And it's all there. That's a nice shape. This is not signed. Nicely done. Not sure who that is. What else is happening in here? Um, a whole bunch of earrings. And I need to hurry up because um, miscellaneous leftover things. That's what it says on the bag. Miscellaneous leftover. I don't know that I did that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Oh, Christmas tree. There's a bunch of brooches in here and, um, and things. And Oh, look at the ladybug. $16. Um, looks like her big pearl or something is missing from there. That's pretty nice. I'm sure I have something that can... I probably have it in here. I, I remember this thing. Oh, and this. I love this because this is going to be one of those rings that I can could convert and put a nice heavy magnet on there that I can test things uh, while I'm out shopping. So I like that. I need to put that in my... Do that pile. Do that. <laughs> Just do it. Um, oh, that's just a pretty bubbly bit there. I don't know. Don't know what's happening. That's very cute. That's very cute. I don't know what it is. Those are very nice earrings. It's a pair. Not signed. There's a whole bunch of um, brooches. Brooches. big earrings. Uh, not sure. Pendant earrings. Things are bagged. Some are not. Those are awfully pretty earrings. And oh my goodness, what's that? That's pretty. A little Bakelite perhaps. I don't know. This is definitely a beautiful piece. It has the safety chain still attached. Oh, so far it's looking good. Looking like everything's in there. Yeah. Nice. Nice find. Um, yeah, nice find. What else? Jeez, makes me want to dig harder. What else do I have up in here? Up in here? Up in here. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, real pearls on a torque. <laughs> That's cool. Very nice luster. Really nice. That's, uh, that's nice. I like that. It's a torque. Uh, yeah, thingy. Thingy-majiggy. And one of those numbers here. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. So cute. Little Swedish clogs. Cloggy wugs. When I worked for Albertsons slash Save Mart, um, I worked in Kingsburg, California for nine years. I had to travel there. I think I've said it before. And, um, yeah, 
It's a, it's a whole little Swedish village. Antique places everywhere. It's so cool. Oh, that looks like maybe more Bakelite. I need to test that. There's just all sorts. I don't know. It's all kinds of goodies. And... See, now this is something. As soon as I get my gem tester, I could test that. And I could, I could be for certain what it is. I like it. I'm hoping that it shows up today. Oh, look at the octopus. He's cute. No telling what I'm going to find in here. Um, but there's all sorts of goodies. Oh, like, look at this. Like, that's a cool little waterproof stash box keychain thing emergency whatever the matches crafting stuff anyhow i will get back at it another day but i actually want to get dressed um i need to take a shower get dressed and i'm gonna go thrifting as if i need more shut the front door Oh my goodness, what's happening? I just don't know what's happening in here. There's all sorts of all sorts of stuff happening. Oh, these are signs. Those are like they got like a big old signature. And uh yeah, I want to go see what kind of treasures I can find out there in the wild because although I have all these things and they're fun to look at, and I forget that I have certain things because there's a lot of it sitting around. This is Oh, Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Well, that is nice. Those are nice, actually. Very nice clip-on earrings by Estee Lauder. Yeah, and then this guy, he's really cool. And I, um, it says, um, Butch and Deutschmann, Copenhagen, Denmark. Look at that. He is so cool. Anyways, that's what I got. That's my haul today. Uh, coffee, chit chat. This is what was in this box. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing more of these videos again because I know a lot of you enjoyed having coffee and watching these videos. Sadly, um, it's a little later than early morning um, like I used to because... Oh, yeah, I guess I could just throw it all in here. Because, um, why? Just because. Uh, because the time changed. And um, the time changed. And it's so cold and dark at 3.30 in the morning. And I used to do my videos at 5. And I'm not waking up till 6 or 7. Forgive me. I'm going to try. The spring is coming back because my yard sure looks it. And, uh, yeah, I will definitely, um, I'll be selling all these things one day. You just got to hang out and wait for it and stick with me. Thank you to all of those of you who have been here from the beginning. Sure do appreciate you. And to all my new subscribers, I appreciate you very much also. And if you haven't yet, please consider giving me a subscription right now because it's free and I have a lots and lots of beautiful jewelry. This is, um, these are pearls. Yeah, I've got hordes and hordes. This is one little tote. I didn't even go through the whole thing. We'll bring it back at you later. I will. I promise. I'm going to start doing more of these what's in the box videos and coffee and chit chat. So look forward to it y'all. And, uh, or if you don't like it, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> all right. Peace out. Hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you all again real soon. Oh, and thank you to everyone who participated the other night. The girls did do the invoices. I think everyone's almost paid by now. So thank you all very much. And packages are going out, um, to, uh, not tomorrow cause tomorrow's Sunday. It'll, they'll be out in the mail Monday. So thank you all. 
have a beautiful and blessed day and uh, wish me luck finding the treasures out there in the wild. See y'all real soon. Bye-bye.